Cool. And uh, actually it makes a great shape, even including the hands there. But, uh, but we'll just go down to the V of the, the shirt there. So let's look at the big shape and we'll end the head about here. So I'll look at the angle of the brow, put an imaginary pair of glasses on her. Did you set the timer? Okay, great. Um, the angle of the brow, and if you're not sure, look at her like a two-dimensional object and you know find what that angle is. Uh, the middle of the brow, the middle of the chin. You know, it's just if you're not sure, look at the angle. It's it's so close to a vertical line from where I'm sitting that I want to keep that in mind as my starting place. And keep it light. Locate where the the forms go. Squint. Let's locate where the chin goes. Look for the, the, the peak of the upper lip. You don't have to draw all those lines in there. It's, it's they're like trading wheels. You just choose the, the, the half a dozen that, that are of use to you in this view. Keep it light and think about the fact that you're trying to locate where everything goes. The more advanced you get, the more you'll be designing the shapes right from the beginning. But I'm, I'm primarily concerned with just trying to figure out where everything goes right now. And then I'll, I'll, I'll worry about whether or not the design needs some more uh, cleaning up and, and embellishing. Squint, simplify this. Now keep an eye on the, on the leftover puzzle piece the shape below the bottom of the eye, the silhouette of the nose and the cheek, if I get that shape right, um, then I know the placement will be right. Then it's up to me to figure out how to make the structure work. But for me, getting everything located before I get too involved in the smaller structure is always a better idea. Getting the, the entire sculpture blocked in 